had to make a quick stop right here at Academy, then got to stop and get gas, and then I'm hitting the road. Time for a road trip, y'all. I'm heading east. Stick around if you want to see where I'm going. If you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button down below and ring that bell icon so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. is a city and county seat of Lamar County, Texas, United States. As of the 2010 census, the population of the city was 25,171. It is situated in northeast Texas at the western edge of the Piney Woods, and 98 miles, 158 kilometers, northeast of the Dallas, Fort Worth Metroplex. Physiographically, these regions are part of the West Gulf Coastal Plain. Following a tradition of American cities named Paris, named after France's capital, the city commissioned a 65-foot replica of the Eiffel Tower in 1993 and installed it on site of the Love Civic Center, southeast of the town square. In 1998, presumably as a response to the 1993 construction of a 60-foot tower in Paris, Tennessee, the city placed a giant red cowboy hat atop its tower. The current Eiffel Tower replica is at least the second one, an earlier replica constructed of wood was destroyed by a tornado. To learn more about Paris, Texas, visit https colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Paris comma underscore Texas. There will also be a link in the description. Yeah, right, we got Google giving us directions. So if we get lost, blame it on her. I think sometimes she drinks a little bit, but this ain't the weekend, so maybe we'll be safe. In 600 feet, right. turn right. Take In 600 turn feet, right. turn right. Yes, ma'am. How am I doing it? Are y'all ready to take a break? Are y'all ready to see something uh, interesting? I see a little bicycle park over there, but you know, they, you can get some really cool pictures of places like that, but I feel kind of, I've thought about doing that, but as a parent and let me ask y'all this what would y'all think about some older man that y'all did not know out there taking pictures of your kids riding their skateboards and bicycles and whatnot would that be kind of weird let me know maybe i'm overthinking it all right here we go red river Valley Veterans Memorial. We're going to check that out. 
right over there is what we're going to check out. What do y'all think about that? I guess that's the Tower of Paris or Paris Tower. Or Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower is what it's called. All right. We are at Paris, Texas Eiffel Tower. This is at 2025 South Collegiate Drive, Paris, Texas, 75460. If y'all are in the area and y'all want to check it out, there it is. Come see it. Now, let's get out and stretch your legs. All right, can y'all hear me? I hope so. All right, let's go check this out. I got the GoPro on. Got the camera here. Yeah, and I believe we are ready. Let's go walk around for a minute, stretch our legs. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. And hopefully, hopefully y'all can see okay. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. All right. Lighting's not all that great right there, but maybe that'll work. I guess this is all the folks that donated to help build this. Department of the Navy, United States Marine Corps, United States Navy, United States Coast Guard, 1790, United States Merchant Marines, Department of the Air Force, United States of America, United States Army. Red River Valley Veterans Memorial. This memorial honors all veterans past, present, and future. May it remind us that our country must always be defended against forces that would deny us our freedom. You'll need to remember that one too. Especially nowadays. I'm not gonna read every little thing. If y'all want to read something, if y'all can see it clearly enough, in this footage, then just pause the video and read away. It's not being disrespectful, it's just that's a lot to read and it'd be dark before we got out of here. Because as you can see, there's a lot to look at right here. We will walk this way and we'll come up the other side. Nikki tells me I bounce when I walk. I'm trying to walk smooth without looking too weird. Turn that auto oh, autofocus off. The problem with autofocus is it tends to focus on things that you're not really looking at. And a lot of times you get a ton of those little squares that uh, are your focus points. They're kind of all over the board. I don't know what that beating is and the noise. I really don't know. I tell you what, Ricky would like this picture. Ricky, my stepson. We'll get this picture and then I'll get a picture of what that says. War Dog Monument. Hopefully that came out all right. All right. Onward we go. World War II, April 6th, 1917, and November 11th, 1918. Oh, World War I, I'm sorry. 116,708 killed and 204,002 wounded. It really kind of sounds like a boot camp over there. I don't know. World War II, European Theater. 293,793 wounded. That was D-Day, June 6, 1944. A bunch of the young folks lost their lives right there on those beaches. You don't need to take this war stuff serious, it's real. And I'm afraid it's coming to our shores. And I'm afraid it's gonna be not from a foreign nation causing it. Vietnam War, November 1st, 1955 to April 30th, 1975. 
It was a day I was born 10 years later. Killed 58,315. That's nothing like the World Wars, but that's still 58,315 too many. Global War on Terror, September 11th. We all remember, well, most of us remember that. 9-11. Gold Star Family Monument. Well, let's walk out here in the center and do a little pan around. This is actually kind of a little bonus here because I really didn't know this was here. Now the tower there that you're seeing there, I knew of that one, but I didn't know of this. So, like I said, kind of a little bonus here. It's sad that there is having to be a bonus like this, and there'll always be war. That will probably never cease. War of some kind somewhere. We just have to do our best to get along and prevent it the best we can while still defending what we believe in. All right, let's mosey over here and take a few pictures and move on. Did y'all guess where we're going yet? I will give you a hint. It is a state park. And the name of the state park is the name of a major U.S. city in the southeast the Eiffel Tower. I guess they have a bike trail over here. She can rent bikes. Ride around a bit. Kind of a neat looking building though. Whatever it is. Love Civic Center. See if we can see in the windows without getting blinded by the sun. Can you see in? Kind of a little museum looking thing, I don't know. Looks like lots of folks over there enjoying the afternoon. I'm not going to walk over there and disturb them. Out of curiosity, let's take this picture upside down on purpose to keep our reflection out of it and see if we can flip the picture. Share your pictured photos. Hmm. Did y'all enjoy that? Yeah. Let's stop this here. Okay, so I drove to the back of the park to kind of check out back here. And uh, now I've got the GoPro sitting back up there. We're going to drive out and uh, give y'all a look at it. This is the... In Paris, Texas at the Eiffel Tower. Of course, a sign up there said the... Uh, Love, Civ Love Civic Center. So, there was a little fishing pond back there, but don't look any, like anything would be in it, but mosquitoes and maybe a frog or two. Algae kind of took it over. And a little baseball diamond 
waiting over there in the baseball complex. Baseball, softball, whatever. Looks like a little playground back there. I'll turn to where maybe y'all can see it. I guess why the big brothers and sisters are playing baseball and softball. The smaller ones and the not so smaller ones can have somewhere to play. It's a great idea. Your stuff falls in Easter. Ooh, that sun is bright. What does that look like on there? Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? It's really bright to me. All right. And as y'all probably saw a while ago, this is, once you get a little closer, it's a, a covered basketball court for the folks that want to play basketball. Good idea. They can play whether it's raining or not. And the kids over here riding their bicycles. Looks like a nice little bike track. And that's about it. Besides what we've already seen. So I'm gonna get out here and off the out of the way and look up our destination again so we don't get turned around because I don't know exactly where we go from here. It is 750. I think we'd like about another hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. And then we will arrive at our final destination. This is the Paris Love Civic Center. All right. I'll see y'all in a momento as soon as I find out where we're going. So, y'all buckle up, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Here we go. <laughs> 